Hi, my name's Finn Roberts. I'm from the Data Insights team and I'm going to be talking about some work that I've been doing evaluating the benefit of road maintenance and upgrades for bushfire response. There's approximately 44,000 kilometres of roads on public land and this is used to access recreation sites for planned burning and also for bushfire response. Each year, $11 million is invested to maintain and upgrade this road network through the Reducing Bushfire Risk Program. So there's a lot of roads and there's limited budget, so we need to prioritise where to spend this. One way to do that is to look at where in the landscape is high risk. And here are some points of higher risk that have been modelled by the Forest Fire Risk Assessment Team, shown in the red, the yellow and the green. And these represent where bushfire likelihood and consequence is higher. The purple lines underneath are the roads on public land. And I modelled the travel paths from the Black Point, which represents the Haywood Depot, where you would drive to access each of these high risk points. The map on the right shows that some roads are used to access only one or two high risk points, whereas some roads are accessing many, many points. And so we might want to consider prioritising the roads that are used to access more high risk points. But we also need to consider the cost of maintaining and upgrading these roads, and that can vary quite a lot too. So looking at two examples, for so Cutout Dam Road, uh, last year we were spending $250,000 to do some maintenance on this road, and that was going to improve the condition of the road from poor to very good. And that might then reduce response time to these high risk points by 10, 110 minutes, so for 10 high risk points. The graph on the right shows how we've come up with that. The black line there is the observed median travel speed for vehicles over the past three years. And that red dash line is our desired travel speed for that road. So there's a difference of about 30 kilometres per hour. And so if we can raise the condition of that road, that should also raise the travel speed that you can travel down that road and probably bring that black line back up towards that red dash line. Now, this investment on Cutout Dam Road does not con compare too favourably with another road like Heath Road, where you only have to invest $385 to get a minute of travel time saved. And that might be because the observed travel speed is much closer to our desired travel speed, so it's probably in better condition. Um, although parts of the road are still in poor condition, it's not the whole stretch of the road, and so we only need to spend $30,000. And this means that we can get a, a better ratio of, of the benefits of reducing response time to the cost of having to do that maintenance and upgrade work. This is a bit of a pilot work, and this will be applied statewide as part of the RBR evaluation soon. Thank you.